Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another James E. Tech YouTube video. In this video, I'm going to be going over the CompTIA Cybersecurity Analyst Certification Exam and how I passed on my first try and giving you guys tips and tricks to pass on your first try. So if you guys want to are interested in that, make sure to watch this video. Give me a thumbs up and comment down below if you have any questions or anything I didn't cover that you have any questions about, go ahead and comment about it. Or if you want, you can join my Discord link in the description. Uh, I'm trying to create a community of people who are studying for certifications or trying to get in the IT field and help them out, give them advice, look over your resume, things like that. So uh, join that down below. We have almost 100 people, so that'd be pretty cool if we could hit that. And yeah, so let's get into it. So before we go ahead and get into the tips and tricks, let's get into the domains and what this exam actually is so we can focus on these bit by bit and see what we may need to study for more. So the domains are going to be security operations, 33%. This is going to be your day-to-day -day security operations and your technologies, knowing certain like encryption protocols and how to secure certain app, uh, appliances and devices. So this is more of like a all-in-one type of uh, domain that you're going to be doing day-to-day. -day. This is the most important and the biggest domain on the test. So that's 33%. The second most important is vulnerability management, which is you know scanning for vulnerabilities, analyzing, doing risk management, prioritizing vulnerabilities, uh, looking over CVEs and CVSS scores, and like depending on the type of device it is and the vulnerability and the score, which one you would solve first, that's something to think about. Um, a lot of the performance-based questions will have you look at multiple CVEs and CVSS scores, but one of these systems is business critical. The other one's just an endpoint. One of them has a higher score than the other. Which one would you um, cover up the vulnerability for first? That's how uh, the performance-based questions will usually be, something like that. Next one we have is incident response management, uh, which is 20% of the exam. This will be going over the things like the MITRE attack framework and the cyber kill chain, things like that. Some of these things are already in the Security Plus, um, but it goes over the steps of uh, incident response and how you may prepare for an incident response. So you got preparation, uh, detection and analysis, containment, eradication and recovery, and post-incident. It also goes over things like business continuity um, and uh, making sure that things get back up in a timely manner in the set times that you set before the incident happens. So that's uh, the incident response category. And the last one that they have is reporting and communication, only 17%. This one's more of a common sense category. I say um, this goes over compliance reports, vulnerability reports, uh, key performance indicators, service level agreements. Um, so those are the four domains that the CYSA Plus has. It has 85 qu up to 80, up to 85 questions, 165 minutes, so almost three hours, a lot more time than, sec than the Security Plus. I was kind of surprised. Um, one to four lab questions. I don't think there would be one. Usually it's like two, three, or four lab questions or performance-based questions, I should say. The price is going to be $400 if you're taking it normally or if you're a student with a student email, you can get it for $262. So definitely do that if you're in like college. So a little bit about my experience taking this exam. I personally call this exam a buff Security Plus. It is just a buffed up version of the Security Plus. Wasn't much different. I actually scored better on this exam than the Security Plus. I like the technical aspect of it. You get more log analysis in the CYSA Plus um, and kind of digging deeper into what everything means. The Security Plus just kind of touches up on each little basic topic, but the CYSA Plus kind of goes more deep into it and actually puts a little bit of hands-on work. CompTIA is not really too hands-on since it's multiple choice or multiple answer. Obviously, you got the performance-based questions, but that doesn't really simulate a real scenario. But you do get to analyze some logs, which you would be doing in, um, in the real world. And in practice, you would be analyzing logs and comparing logs and seeing uh, different logs at the same time all add up and say, okay, this might be what's happening or this might be an indicator of compromise or this is just normal activity. So those are some things to uh, make sure that you get down because you will see a lot of log analysis in practice tests and on the actual exam. You won't really need to know any programming languages. They will have some scripting, but a lot of it is really easy, re really easy to read. It's not in a crazy language where you can't understand a lot of the times they'll help you out or point at the part that you're actually looking at but understand basic logic and scripting uh, you should probably do it yourself because cybersecurity has a lot of scripting involved um, a lot of people 
especially yeah you need to automate in cybersecurity. so definitely learn a little bit about scripting but that's not a big portion of the test um it took me a little over a month to study for this exam i took this right after my security plus um go ahead and watch that video if you haven't or if you're not interested don't watch the video but uh the security plus test i studied for about two three months to take that exam i used the same study methods for this test i took it like a month after i i think it's a month and a couple of days after i passed the security plus just because the security plus has 90 or like 80 percent of what this test is this just has a little more complex knowledge and more frameworks and more detailed um topics but to be honest if you did well in the security plus and you're confident um I would definitely take this certification. It is not much harder in my opinion. If you're someone who doesn't have the security plus, I would recommend, highly recommend taking the security plus before taking this. Um, it depends on your background though. If you are in security, probably doesn't matter as much, but if you're someone who's trying to get into cybersecurity, I probably wouldn't jump ahead to the security plus or to the CYSA plus before you take the security plus. So I would highly recommend that you take the security plus beforehand. But on my test, I got about 60 something questions. I, I believe it was like 65 ish on mine. I got three or four lab questions. Usually the more lab questions you have, the less multiple choice questions you have. I honestly prefer the lab questions because it's a lot more fun than answering multiple choice questions with a paragraph asking the question. Now, best ways to study. Um, like I said before, I would take security plus first and study for the security plus. Um, because honestly, if you know have that all in your brain after the, you take the Security Plus, study for the CYSA for another month, and then you can pass it super easily. Um, it took me way less time to study for this exam because a lot of the videos I watched, I personally used Jason Dion's Udemy course. That's all I used with his practice uh, tests and another website for practice tests, which I'll mention in a minute. Other than that, I didn't use any other... Um, sources to study but obviously everyone's going to be different people use books things like that um you watching videos this is what works for me and it worked well for the security plus so jason dion's definitely someone to look into along with that the courses are dirt cheap it's like at most 20 dollars for the the thing and if it's not on sale wait till it's on sale or make a new account do that i'll have the links to all these in the description so first is Jason Dion's Udemy course. I will take that to the grave. Jason Dion's course are, courses are amazing. Some people don't like him. I personally do. Um, I think they work for me. I watched all of his videos on 1.5 or 2 times speed because I think he talked a slightly slower than I was used to, but maybe that's because I talk fast, something like that. I don't know. Um, but I do did watch his videos on 1.5 times speed or 2 times speed, and I watched them on my downtime. And I wouldn't fully watch them, to be honest. I'd be have it in the background while I'm doing something else because a lot of it was reviewing the Security Plus and there was just some extra steps in the videos or extra topics. So honestly, like I said, it's just a buff Security Plus. Um, along with that, look up YouTube videos on the CYSA course. Uh, I don't think Professor Messer has a CYSA course, but if you're someone who's looking into getting like a free uh, study method, YouTube is a great option. I'm sure there's hundreds of people out there that have courses, but I personally didn't watch any of them. Um, Cyber James, I mentioned him, him him in my Security Plus video. He's been posting practice tests on his YouTube channel. Um, I'll have a link to that in the description. He posts uh, the he has four like I think 20 or 30 questions in each video, but he goes over the question, gives you a minute to answer, and then he goes over each answer and says, okay, this one's definitely not it. This one's definitely not it. It's down to these two. This one makes more sense than this one. I'm going to pick that one. Um, so he really does a good job at making sure you're in the right mindset for taking the, in a, a multiple choice test. Because multiple choice tests, you don't want to read you have to do it a certain way if you want to do well usually process of elimination is the best way to do it what i do is i read the question read the answers usually you could see one or two are definitely not going to be the answer so you mark those off immediately you look at the second two you review them they both seem okay they both seem like they could be the answer reread the question slowly and see the key parts of the question the more specific things which one's the most effective or which one's the least effective or certain things or certain words that will change the answer 
So once you reread the question, you should usually get a answer out of it. But if you don't, you at least have a 50-50 chance because you knocked out two of the answers already. So that's how I would personally do it. And that's how he uh, does the practice test is he'll usually take it down to two answers and say, okay, this one makes the most sense. Um, another one you can use is the CYSA uh, Cybex study guide book. Um, <clears throat> Cybex is a very popular company for um, CompTIA certification. There's a bunch of CompTIA certification books. So I would probably look up separate like uh, reviews or videos on different books that they have. Um, Cause I personally haven't read any of them, but reading books is a good way to study if that is how you like to study. Now tips for all CompTIA exams, my tips are gonna be really similar, but first one's practice tests. If you don't take practice tests, you're setting yourself up for failure in my opinion. Cause that is a, the best way to gauge yourself if you're ready or not. If you don't do well in any of your practice tests, then that means you probably need to study more and the questions you get wrong, you need to know why you get them wrong. Another thing is go over the exam objectives. It's a pretty, I, I went over the objectives, but if you go to CompTIA's official objectives uh, page, you can see all of the, um, the subdomains I'll call them is they have like 3.1, 3.2, 3.3 where it tells you every single topic that is in the exam. Um, go over all of those when you, I wouldn't do it at first because that might be a lot and you might not know everything. But once you're done watching, like let's, let's say you're done with Jason Dion's Udemy videos and you're gearing up to take the test, like you're actually about to schedule it, then is when you would want to look at the exam objectives and be like, okay, I don't know what that is, but I know what that is, so I don't need to study that. Kind of dig it, dig into it and see what you don't know, what you do know and what you need to be better at to get yourself ready. So that is personally what I do. Um, when usually about two weeks out of, from the exam, maybe a week out, I'll look at the objectives more in depth and say, okay, I definitely need to learn this one a little more or this one. I know everything. So I, you know, so you don't have to learn as much about it for the performance based questions. Uh, know how to do incident response. Like all the steps I was talking about earlier. That's pretty important. Vulnerability management is very important as well. Um, also, being able to read computer logs, very important as well. Um, being able to read network logs, that comes from the Security Plus a little bit because you should know networking if you took the Security Plus. You should know networking if you're taking this exam as well because you will see IP addresses. Even if you don't know anything about IP addresses, you're not going to do well or at least not understand as much. Um, so definitely know a little bit of networking. You don't have to know a lot, but just know basic networking equipment and how those may be exploited and how you can defend using networking. So that's another thing. Um, and like I said before, most questions you can just knock two or four, two or three of the answers out. Usually it's two. Um, usually two of the answers are kind of close or, you know, somewhat reasonable. So those are kind of uh, my tips for the exam. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them down below. Uh, hopefully as you found this video helpful, I try to uh, help people pass exams. Like I said, I'm open on Discord all the time always online so feel free to if you don't want to talk in the discord uh talking to discord server you can dm me i'll respond um look over your resume whatever you want <clears throat> so um comment down below what other videos you'd like to see i'm getting into ethical hacking i'm taking the pjpt uh practical junior penetration tester from tcm security i'm also going to be taking the pen test beta exam i might do a video on that uh, as well um but the pen test beta is pretty much just a beta version of the pen test plus it's just $50 though. So that's why I'm taking it. So I might get into some ethical hacking videos because that's something I'm interested in more interested into the defense side of security, but I also want to learn the red teaming side just so I can better defend because knowing what can attack you is a better way to defend. So that's kind of what I have to say. Um, thank you guys for watching. This is Jamesy tech. Please like, and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.